afternoon, everyone, and welcome to another live edition of Coffee Break with Father Caparis. Today we're joined by our special guest, our office companion, our frequent office companion. <laughs> this is Dolly, and she said, I want to have a coffee break, so we're having yes. coffee break together. It's so good to have Dolly with us. Hello, Dolly. <laughs> And Dolly is I dressed. Get it. Hello, Dolly. Yeah. <laughs> and Dolly is dressed for uh, Fourth of July. for the Fourth of July. Look at yeah. that. Very patriotic. Yep. So let's begin with a prayer, everyone. And um, especially today is the feast of the first martyrs of Rome. Uh, so we seek their intercession and 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 let's pray for our country as we uh, start kick off the Fourth of July holiday in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Dear good and gracious God, we ask you to bless us and bless our country, especially as we commemorate the birthday of our country. We ask you, Lord, to uh, bless all those who are serving our country, especially our men and women in the armed forces who are abroad, and that we will always be grateful for the gift of our country and the gift of freedom by which we benefit from. And we pray this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. So uh, so anyway, yes, we have the 4th of July uh, holiday coming up. And just to remind everybody that the office will be closed yes. beginning tomorrow uh, through Monday. Through Monday. So for the 4th of July holiday. So no one will be here to answer the calls or to let you in. So we'll be closed Thursday, Friday through the weekend, and Monday, and we'll resume okay. back on Tuesday. So right. it's a, it'll be a nice uh, Fourth of July holiday for all of us. Right, very uh, nice. Yeah, and uh, you have any special plans for the Fourth of July there, Meryl? I always spend the Fourth of July on the beach because mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm a beach person. I grew up in Ocean City, so yeah. you know, once you have sand in your shoes, you never get it out. <laughs> but, uh, and and how is Dolly spending the Fourth of July, Dolly? So well, we're hoping she'll be at the beach too. <laughs> <laughs> it's so good to have Dolly in here. Dolly is like uh, she she has unfettered access to our facility <laughs> in here. You know she. She minds everyone's business. That's right. She checks on everybody <laughs> she, and makes sure everybody's okay. <laughs> exactly. She goes down to Father Joe's office to make sure he's not sleeping and <laughs> <laughs> or blowing up rockets. Or blowing up yeah. rockets or something. Yeah. That's right. Or doing his drone. She so. likes to go say hello to everybody who comes to visit in the office. And That's right. Yeah. That's right. But most of the time she gets locked in my office. <laughs> in her gated community. In her gated community. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. So um no, I really so. like the fourth of July. It's to me the fourth of July is like um it's the kickoff for the summer. I know when I was a kid, it was always Memorial, Memorial Day, and Day stuff. Yeah. but we were still in school and, right. you know, the, the kids have only been out of school maybe a mm -hmm. week or, you know, a week right. or two now, and yeah. it really felt like it was summer then. You know, it, it's an interesting thing. Um, growing up in the Philippines, the 4th of July was actually um, known as the Filipino-American Friendship Day. So what happened was that um, in 1898, the Philippines uh, became in, uh, received its independence from, from Spain in June. Uh, I think it's June 24th, and it became an American commonwealth. Mm -hmm. And then there was a, the, the Americans promise independence will be granted to the Filipinos, but then you had the First World War come, Second World War come. So actually on July 4th, 1946. Wow. The Philippines uh, was granted its independence from the United States, and mm. so July Fourth in the Philippines became known as the Filipino American Friendship Day. Friendship. So, uh, so I remember celebrating that as a boy, and mm -hmm. um, we would we would celebrate the special friendship that our the two countries. Did you have shared. fireworks and all that stuff too? Uh, no, but uh, you know we had a we we had a uh, a recognition in school, and mm -hmm. and we had all of these different special events. Right. So, uh, so anyway, you know, I, I, I don't know if they still celebrate that in the Philippines, but when I was growing up as a boy, that was a, a big holiday, yeah, you know, holiday. For, for, for us. Um, so, July, I've always celebrated July 4th, yeah. even before I became an American. Even before you are American. So, uh, so it's a, I, I, you know, it's a, it's a fascinating holiday. And also, um, I've been reading up a little bit on the 4th of July holiday and the Declaration of Independence. And um, I, I'm sure that many of you probably know that there were a couple of Catholic signers. Right, um, I did hear that. Yeah. I don't know who they were, though. Well, the, one was, I believe one was the, uh, was the representative from Delaware, mm -hmm. and the other one was from Maryland, 
and they they're related to the first archbishop oh, wow. of Baltimore cool. who became the first primate Catholic bishop in the United States right. the Carrolls okay. so right. um, so uh, Archbishop John Carroll uh, this would have been his his um, his relatives his ancestors mm -hmm. who, who were um, the signers of right. one of the signers of the Declaration of Independence. Right. Well, it makes sense because the colonies were originally started because people wanted, you know, freedom of free, freedom to practice practice their religion. Yes. You know, and so lots of times Catholics were, you know, mm -hmm. uh, oppressed or, or right. persecuted. You know, and it would make sense that they would come here to be able to practice their faith exactly. And and, yeah. and you know that that's the whole, one of the hallmarks of our country right. is. is freedom of uh, expression freedom of religious expression mm -hmm. regardless of what your faith is right that that's 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 protected and it's also protected uh, that not one religious philosophy or idea is endorsed by the government right you know uh, that that all of us have the ability to, to freely practice our faith right. without any hindrance right. that's what that's what that you right. know that and the thing that is endorsed by the government is that you're free to practice what you believe. Exactly. Right. Exactly. So, and that's 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 one thing that makes us unique. Exactly. So. Exactly. And so you know we're 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 blessed, even though you know we we've just come th come out of or coming out now of the pandemic, we're we're blessed that 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 still remains a hallmark of right. who we are as 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 Americans, right. as the United States of America. I mean, I'm I'm even reading different countries in the world where they have these these draconian restrictions when it comes to mass. Right. Uh, I was reading not so long ago that in Ireland, Catholic Ireland, uh, a priest would be arrested if he leaves his rectory. Wow. You know, uh, because under the suspicion that he would say a private mass. Wow. <laughs> you know, that you're not allowed to say any masses apart from privately in your, in your, in your house. Yeah. So it, it's, uh, it really is, you know, I mean, again, um, we're not, you know, we're not at that situation, but thank God that we're not. Thank right. God that that right is protected. And right. please God, it will continue to be so. Absolutely. So, uh, so anyway, we, uh, we also celebrated this past weekend, um, Monsignor Trace's 60th priestly anniversary. 60th priestly anniversary and his 85th birthday. That's right. <laughs> his 85th birthday. So, uh, he had a busy weekend. This yeah, weekend. well, he, he did. So, so you know, from Meryl, from your perspective, so what are some of the highlights of this celebration? Oh, I thought I thought the mass it started with the mm. mass at five o'clock, the mass of Thanksgiving, and and uh, it was just it was really beautiful. And he had several of his friends who were also um, celebrating their their uh, their sixtieth anniversaries mm -hmm. as well. Monsignor Harry Jordan and right and uh, Father. Father uh, Bob, Bob Smith. Smith, yeah, Father Bob um, Smith, were, yes. and they were here in attendance too, so they got to celebrate mm -hmm. that together. They were his classmates and stuff, so that was really kind of right. cool. And uh, Bishop and, Cecchio, uh, from and Bishop Cecchio was here, and yeah. and uh, once he found his his Zacchetto, we <laughs> got started mass and stuff. That was interesting, um, but it was just a really nice party, and mm -hmm. and. And Monsignor was so happy to see everybody, and everybody was so happy to see him. Mm -hmm. and, and there were mm -hmm. some pretty funny stories being told, and, yes. and it was it was just really a nice a nice uh, occasion. It and was. the Knights of Columbus did the, mm. the food and drinks, and they just outdid themselves. They it was did. just really they did. Um, and, it was fabulous. The Knights of Columbus from both of our councils, right, both from, councils. from Our Lady of Lords and Our Lady Queen of Peace. Mm -hmm. You know, they they they, they worked really, together on that, and yeah. it was just really it was just really a great a great time. It was it mm -hmm. was, um, and um, it is, it's it's the first social event or party that I hosted right. as a pastor. It's really the first one we've mm -hmm. had since the pandemic started. Yeah, yeah. You know yeah. what I mean? We we wanted to have a few but it was there was too much restriction and now yeah, that the yeah. restrictions are lifted, it was just really nice to yeah. see everybody together again and mm -hmm. I think people just mm -hmm. appreciated being together so much. Exactly. It was just a really nice evening. Yeah, and you know, i I was just thinking about that and I said to myself that, you know, um, you just uh, several months ago I, you know, we were wondering, uh, when are we going to get back to yeah. this kind of, you know, life again? And it was very nice to be able to, right. you know, to come together as a community. And, and I, I commented at, uh, at the party that, um, you know, everybody looked new to me because I've never seen people 
without their masks. Without their masks, all right. <laughs> so I'm kind of relearning everyone's faces, right. like, you know, right. uh, or learning everyone's faces. Right. So uh, so it was a really nice occasion, and I'm very happy for for Monsignor, and he's so grateful right. uh, to everybody. He was just sharing with me. He was reading all the well wishes and the cards and all of that. Mm -hmm. He's just overwhelmed by uh, people's expressions of, of, of uh, congratulations, best wishes, right. and, um, and he, he was just really appreciative. It was a very well organized event and mm -hmm. I'll tell you what, Lucille Pacello yes. knows how to throw a party. And she does. She could throw a party for me anytime. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. It was a great party. Exactly. Really and, and we have a lot of uh, social events that's coming up uh, mm -hmm. during the year and, um, and Lucille will, will yeah. play an important role that's in helping right. us organize those uh, those okay. events so um, so hopefully we will we will have more and I want to thank all of the parishioners who you know um, uh, supported the uh, went to the party went to the mass um, and I know there are some of you who were not able to go to the party for whatever reason and I know that you had sent your best wishes and well wishes to Monsignor right. so I know he's very very grateful to each and every one of you who, who really um, came out and to his party or or wished him congratulations sent him a card or you know baked him a cake right, you know exactly, uh, exactly. so there were there were just a lot of people who really did some right. wonderful things and uh, you know as a, as a younger clergy for, for me you know it's very edifying yes it, it's very edifying very encouraging to be in a parish where you know you see that your your brother priests are loved yeah. uh, and that you're loved too as a priest and, and appreciated so um, you know, and it's 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 a tremendous blessing for us. So I want to I want to thank you for that because it edifies me. Yes. So um, so anyway, yeah. Um, well, Dolly looks like she's ready for a nap. <laughs> she always looks like she's ready for a nap. She takes lots of little power naps during the day. <laughs> so uh, so anyway, we we are grateful for you joining us, and uh, we will have another um, coffee break. Um, you know, the next time, hopefully next week. Hopefully next week. And. Yeah. Um, and I, I do have a different closing song for you. <laughs> I didn't tell Father Joe or Meryl what it is, but you'll see why. And uh, But before we do that, let's close with a prayer. Yeah. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. And uh, let us pray for the intercession of our Blessed Mother, especially for our country and for all of us, that we may continue to abide in God's love through her intercession. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. All right, so here is the music. Happy Independence Day, everyone. There's nothing like a gun full of seasons.